Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. My name's Owen. Uh, when we left off last time, we just found this weird um, office space, I guess, with information about us um, pulled up on the computer. Um, and apparently this is the office that belongs to one of the... I'm blanking on his name right now, but one of the dolls. And apparently he had been basically coerced into providing information on all of the different contestants. Um, and yeah, I think I think after leaving off, I think we're just about to look into this. I don't think we've actually looked at it yet. If you're hoping for some hacking, it's futile. And I'm not saying that just to be mean. It's well protected. Okay. But it, like it's like literally on though. Okay, cool. Never mind. Uh, okay. A yellow book. On the back it says, please return on time. Oh, okay, so that's probably another one that we're gonna have to get. Computer screen is blank. Not powered on. Okay. A whiteboard, no clues here. Shelves are full of documents and medical supplies. Computer screen is blank. Okay. I don't know if there's anything else we can look at here. What about this whiteboard? No. This plant? No. Okay. I guess if we try to move... Where are we again? We're here. In the office. Um, so I guess we should go to the library? Oh, okay, yeah, you can see where all the missing books go. So many books! Is this a library? Pretty complex for a library. It's like a maze. Just follow the map. Don't get any weird don't go any weird directions, and you won't get lost, alright? Okay. There's an unnatural gap in the yellow books. And the green books. And the blue books. And the red books. Interesting. I don't think we can go anywhere, though. So now that we've seen this, can we go back and take this yellow book? On the back it says, please. Yeah, okay. No, we can't. Okay. Good to know. I don't think we can do anything else in here. Police station. <laughs> it's a police box. A parked police car. Doubt there's any fuel. The door's open, though. Huh? There's a license sitting on the seat. What? Keiji? Yeah, sure enough. This must be the place of memories for your friendly policeman. Huh? If we need more memories, I guess I gotta tell you now. You remember the story of I told you about why I wanted to be a policeman? Ow. Yo, kiddo! Hurt yourself again. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my cat screaming in the background. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, maybe never mind. Okay. He just needed attention briefly. Okay. Ah, uh, it's that patrolling geezer. Alright, hang on. I gotta go check on my cat. He's <laughs> yelling about something. Alright, there we go. Apparently he had accidentally gotten his little hamburger toy stuck under a couch, so, but he should be okay now, hopefully. Maybe not? I still hear him? What's going on, dude? What? Alright, hopefully we're back for real this time. I usually prefer Mr. Policeman, okay? I'm not a geezer. Leave me alone. I just tripped. <laughs> what a fibber. You got in a fight, right? I saw it happen. Uh, drive by the police box. We've got tasty coffee, and that's what kids like, right? Coffee? Huh. So that's why you started punching. I mean, those guys were making fun of me. Fists of justice, eh? I'm fond of it. That's not really very nice. Why not? I was in the right, wasn't I? Exactly. 
The more right you are, the less reason to stop you from throwing hands, right? But cops use force to stop criminals, right? At times, sure, but... Well now, kiddo. Could it be you want to be a policeman? So what if I do? Well, huh. Did you see your friendly policeman and want to become one too? <laughs> that a problem? I love this kid. <laughs> so much attitude. <laughs> huh? Kiddo. No. Keiji. I've got something nice for you. Huh? It's Mr. Policeman's good luck charm. That thing you're always carrying? Ain't it important? Yep. It'd be trouble if I lost it. Then I don't want it. And like, isn't this thing meant as a wish of safe childbirth? Yep, because Mr. Policeman's going to be a dad soon. Hmm. Okay, let's do this, KG. When you become a policeman, come bring this back to me. What? Well, duty calls. Come visit sometime, KG. And don't leave your coffee next time. What, dude? Alright, I apologize. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, I, I can't make any promises. I've got my hopes up for you. So, yeah. <laughs> Never thought the day would come that I'd tell that to somebody. Um... You opened up on your own for once. Must have had good memories here. That sure went on long. Um, we know that these memories are kind of like tainted, right? Because something goes wrong with that cop guy. But. Oh, my goodness. Can you hear that? Is that being picked up by the microphone? Let me see. I don't think so. I think it's just in the background, but my cat is singing a song, and anytime I go look at him, he just looks at me like, what? What's your problem, dude? But then I leave, and he starts singing again. So I think he's just, he needs attention, and there's nothing stopping him from coming in here and just sitting next to me, but uh, whatever. Hey, dude, chill out. We can play after this, okay? Just chill out. Okay. You opened up on your own for once. That's the first time you've willingly chosen to tell us, par tell us about yourself. Yes, it is. Maybe I wanted you to know about it, Sarah. Well, huh. Here I was thinking this was a copy of the place I wound up after my violent outburst. That doesn't sound like as nice a story. Okay. What is this thing? This thing is not over here. A parked police car. They said the lights, or the doors open, right? But I guess we can't look inside it. Okay. The inside of a police box is, is pitch black. Not even a single desk. It's completely empty. It's got a drive through window, though. Okay, so we must need some sort of light source to investigate this further. I'm guessing. Okay. Interesting. Ugh. Not again. Huh? This room's just like the other one. Careful, everybody. Seems a bit cleaner than the one downstairs. Yeah, it almost feels like an unused room. It's got a tablet? Oh, a small speaker is installed here. It can be removed. Ain't this a voice recorder? Huh? Must have got a voice recorder on it then. There's a switch on the back. I'll press it. Press the switch on the speaker. This is the first trial. You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You are not alone. Your fate is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. 
Follow the voice in your heart. Ah. Uh, that's the whole thing. As I suspected, this room was used for a first trial. Ugh. Sarah! What is it? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I can't just run away. I need to... someone else. No, my head hurts. Don't force it, Sarah. Keiji? It's no good. Leaving it this hazy. Hey dummies, have any of you guys heard this recording before? Nope, not at all. We only saw the moment of our death, see? I can't remember anything from before we died. Ah, I see. If this is also a hint related to our memories, then we might need to have a discussion of our first trials again. Obtained a voice recorder. Okay... A transceiver! Obtained a transceiver. If we had the other one, we could probably use it to keep contact. This is my, do you copy? Maybe a little bit like that? Yes, this is Midori. Thought of a way to kill me? Uh-huh! <laughs> See you later! That made my heart stop. Looks like the other transceiver is with Midori, then. Interesting. So who has these items now? Because we don't. Also, I can't click on any of these lockers. Or look at the ceiling or the floor. What about the lights? No? The empty shelves? No. Interesting. Huh? Looking at the map, we've been everywhere on this floor. And Midori wasn't anywhere! Damn it! Strange. We should have been everywhere. Um, is there some place we didn't go? Did he pass us and go down a floor? I mean, there is some place we didn't go. We didn't go inside the police station. If there was more to the library, we didn't go there. Is there somewhere we didn't go? Like, a secret room, say? Come to think of it, I feel like this Floor 5 map is strange compared to Floor 4. Yeah, there's no middle part. It's this spot here! Boop. Here it is! It has the exact same floor layout as Floor 4, but there's no center room on Floor 5. Maybe it's just not drawn on here. It's possible! What would be the point of having such a similar layout otherwise? If it's the same layout as Floor 4, there's only one room that it connect to the center. The library. Indeed. So should we go back to the library? If there were a center room accessible from this maze-like library, it'd be this way. Well, what? Oh, we didn't even have to put the books in? What the heck? There really was a secret room. Midori ain't here! Interesting. A mess of switches and knobs. Hmm. Touch them at random. That seems like a bad idea. Let's not do that yet. Yeah, it's the same thing. What about this collar? There's a collar on the desk. A collar? Take it. Obtained a collar. Way to touch it. Don't you think it might be Midori's? Thinking of it that way, I want to keep my distance. Well, let's take it for now, even if it might be a trap. If we can analyze it, we might even find out how to remove these things. You better be careful now! Anyway, leave it to me to manage the lost and found. That'll make sure we're not to lose this. Oh, so Keiji's taking all the stuff. What the heck? The monitor turned red. What? Oh. Ah, you called. Oh, this is the so AI. We haven't had the so AI yet. Huh? Ah, good day. Huh? Why am I there? What's with this guy? An AI? I'm Shin Tsukimi. 
Nice to meet you. Shin Tsukimi? So's real name. Um, do you need something? It's embarrassing with you all staring at me. Damn it. How sickening. Seriously. Hey, what's the deal with you? Got more hints about the death game? D death game? What's that? That sounds dangerous. Doesn't seem to know a thing. This is probably a reinitialized AI, right? What? The AIs are brought closer to the real people by updating their knowledge and personalities. In other words, the So we're looking at is So from before the death game, who knew nothing. Or rather, Shin Tsukimi, before he even took on an alias. What have you guys been talking about? I doubt he's got any info- I doubt he's got any info for us then. Even so, I- even so I want as much as we can get. Is there anything? About Midori, yeah, because Shin knew Midori. Or so knew Midori. Midori. Is... That is the real So Hiyori. Please, tell us about him. Are you all... Acquaintances with Hiyori? Something like that. He's really giving us a hard time right now. He's... A scary friend of mine. Friend? I think he was in high school when I... I met him at school, and we started talking. But whenever I looked in his eyes, I felt really restless. I was so scared, I started sweating. I got anxious. He really seemed to enjoy seeing me like that. I only found out... I only found this out later, but he wasn't even a student in my school. Who he really is... I really, truly know nothing. Though I learned a lot of things at his house. You had a long acquaintance, huh? Yeah, but he... One day, he died. What are you doing? Hey, feeling the bloodlust? Midori! <laughs> That's mine, don't you know? Now stop getting friendly with them, would you? Sorry, I'll turn off right away. Now then, say, could you return that collar to me? Huh, <laughs> would it be a problem if you lost it? I mean, that's the collar I was wearing. I, it'd be so lonely if I was the only one safe. No reason to give it back. If you could take it off, maybe we can figure out how to remove these ourselves. Hmm. That's a collar for the dead. It's made completely different from your collars. <sighs> oh well, I guess I'll use a spare. You put it on yourself? Are you out of your mind, man? And talk about cocky. Aren't you scared to enter the enemy's camp? Oh, I'm scared. That's why I've got a gun. It has four bullets. Wha Don't worry. If you win, you can cheerfully advance to the next floor. But I'll try my best to make it one shot, one kill. I want to take at least four people with me. Now, shall we? Think of another way. Is there no other way? Uh? Are you really going to be satisfied with simple violence, Midori? It seems that unsettled him. Let's establish the rules for this fight. This is your holy death game, right? <laughs> <laughs> you truly are the greatest, Miss Sarah. Right then. In that case, why don't we play tag? Midori, Midori took something from his pocket and pressed a button. Huh? The person with the red light is it. A thing like this again? After exactly one hour, the person who's it loses. Nice and simple, isn't it? If you don't want to lose, just tag someone. Wait! Still questions? 
Uh, um... Say it clearly. Will tagging someone really transfer who's it? It won't just multiply? <laughs> Why don't you try it out? Wait! You can't- I can't let him get away! Sarah! We have to give chase. Do we even know which way he went, though? Where'd you go, meow? Seaweed head? Listen for his footsteps. Then we'll know where he ran to. Ah! So loud! What is this noise? I can't hear jack shit! Hey, I wonder what that is. Some Salmadori somewhere! N no, look, over there! Something's coming close. Oh, shit. Oh, let the stressfulness begin. What the heck? A book's attacking us? Gah, it's so noisy in here. What the hell? It's okay. It's just a book. Let's calmly deal with it and chase Midori. For now, we need to focus on the obstructor in front of us. The book is floating in midair. Okay, and I can't save. No, yeah, I can. I can't save. Uh, we save here. Um, all right, let's see. Your options are, yeah, just observe. I don't want to do that. You're just saying it's loud. I can't, I can't help being distracted by this noise. I'll go find where it's coming from. I don't know if that's the best thing to do right now. But if her other option is doing literally nothing. But I guess like an action is what like makes time move forward, right? So it's not like oh, everything's happening at the same time. I'll sniff out any suspicious smells, meow. Uh. Oh, there we go. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, cancel. Um. Who's afraid of a book? I'll beat him down with my fists. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem like it's a good idea either. So I think Reiko probably has the best idea here. Figure out where the noise is coming from. Just heard it! There! Reiko took a smartphone from a gap in the below a bookshelf. Obtain the noisy smartphone. As usual, it's unusable. Okay. The book is making rustling sounds. The book began to circle through the air. Another book started floating. They're multiplying? I see. Now this is a pickle. If you've got anything making noise, I'll crush it for you. Oh, because maybe the books don't, like, can't see or something? Hold on. Uh, how annoying. Give it to me. I'll pound any noise-making garbage into dust. I kind of want to go with that, just because that's... I don't know, I love this character so much. Yeah, you'll beat him down with my fists. Okay, I think that's a bad idea. And you're going to sniff, right? So what are you saying? You're saying, I'll crush it if you've got something making noise. And you're saying, I'll pound any noise-making garbage into dust. Are you, but does this, like, potentially threaten to make more noise? I don't know. I see, I feel like this might, might be the way to go here. The smartphone broke and stopped making noise. How's that? It's in pieces now. The books are noisily clacking their teeth. The books began to circle through the air. Yet another book started floating. Don't tell me all the books in this room could become enemies. No way, right? Alright, so what you got? My ears hurt. I gotta figure out what's making that noise. Yeah, let's do that. Here it is! So took an alarm clock from the back of a bookshelf. It's noisy, so I'll give it to you, Miss Sarah. Yeah, okay, so then you're gonna break it, right? The books all went to ta attack Hayasaka. Why is it always me? 
Hayasaka quickly hid in a bookshelf to escape danger. What are you saying? I'll catch them and put them back in the shelves. That sounds like a terrible idea. You're gonna die if you do that. I think you should break the noise-making thing. Because I right now what I'm thinking, right, is that whatever's making noise is making the books angry. Because when we were here, because, uh, because it's a library. You can't make noise in the library, right? That's the problem. So yeah, 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 you break it. The alarm clock broke and stopped making noise. I feel a little refreshed now. The books are flapping around like birds. Books began to circle through the air. Yet another book started floating. Ugh, how are we gonna handle, how are we gonna handle this fighting them head on? What annoying books, meow. Come down and fight Muscle Gorilla fair and square, meow. That'd be easy. That'd be its own can of worms. Okay, so you're saying I'll knock them down by tossing books their way. No, that's a bad idea. Are you? Yes, everybody stop. This is a library. Let's be quiet. Yes. It's, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> On Keiji's signal, everyone stopped. The books returned to their original shelves. Be quiet in the library, I suppose. Silence returned to the library. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Are you okay, suit and specs? I'm all right. More importantly, where's Midori? He got away. Gotta find him and tag him quick. Right, my collar. When I bring my hand near it, a red light shines on my skin. How many minutes passed there? Not good. If I don't hurry, it'll... Huh? Is my collar tightening? <laughs> Sarah! No, it's my imagination. I know. I know, don't I? I've overcome this kind of thing again and again. Again and... I don't want to die. I've had enough. You could never get used to this. <sighs> Why is it always me? No, I can't look uneasy. My allies are watching. It's because I even have allies. I'm providing everyone support, so I... Uh, uh... I'll do it. Ranmaru took my limp hand. What are you thinking? Your collar! I'm telling you, I'll take your place. What's gotten into you? Shut up. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> Kind of got beaten to the punch there. Keiji, we filled in the map. A policeman should be good at searching, right? Of course. Please, it's not like I want to be a sacrifice. Okie dokie, gotta apprehend the bad guy. Show what kind of man you are. You gotta do it. Now, we need to s everyone. We need everyone on this. Let's split up again and search. Yeah, we're gonna find him and end this. Well, if it's def to defeat Midori, I'll do it. Rar, well, let's go, Wolf. Everyone, thank you. Cool, let's save. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't lose anybody. I'm assuming Hayasaka there would have been the person that we lost if we did lose somebody. Um, yes, I'm glad that did not happen. Um, I'm also wondering if now that we have the red light, that can illuminate in here. What are you doing? Not in here, huh? He's not gonna be easy to find, huh? Come to think of it, Sarah. Have you seen library books anywhere? Oh, excuse me. Huh. I'm tired. I gotta take a sip of coffee really quick. 
Okay. Have you seen any library books anywhere? Huh? Is it important? I was just a little curious. I feel like I've been seeing them around. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, in the office, there's one. And the discussion room. And probably the other one, too. In the office, I believe. Way to go. So you remember. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we should be going back to get those, I suppose. What do you have to say? Keiji. Even when he's facing away, it feels like he's watching me. Maybe he's got eyes on the back of his head. It seems pretty open, so I can't imagine there's many places you could hide here. Should have picked up his scent when I had the chance, woof. Alright, I think... I think we're good. Uh, let's go back to the office and see if we can grab this book. Please return on time. Seems this book was borrowed from the library. Obtained yellow book. Ah, it's summarizing that physical exam stuff that was on the computer. Oh, really? Okay, can we examine it further? No, I guess not. Can we look at this at all? No, all right. Um, was there another book in here? Yes, there was. There were books this color in the library. Yeah. There's something written on it. Really? Info from our pasts? Don't tell me. It's info on our pasts? Nah, it's not that. Look. Hey there, it's me. For death game participants around the nation troubled by obstructors, I bear good tidings. Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstructor doll, Maple. It's the crevice in her back. Remember this, and you'll soon be an obstructor master. All right, Maple and the crack on her, the crevice in her back. Is that the person who's in the discussion room? I think it was. I think it was. One of the obstructor's weaknesses? Annoyingly written, but this is good to know. True, I, though I hope we never have to meet this strongest obstructor. Oh, so maybe we haven't met them yet. Okay. Interesting. Um, maybe we should go back down? Or should we go to the library and put it in the books that we have already? Insert into gap. And then yellow. Insert into gap. So there should be a red and a blue somewhere. The red was in the discussion room. I can't remember if we've seen the blue one. Elevator only seems to go down. Can we go down? Hello? Okay, I guess not. Um, interesting. Where have we not, have we gone back to here? Oh, Reiko's in here. <laughs> Even though there's security cameras, I don't see Midori anywhere. He must be moving in their blind spots. That makes sense. Um, we didn't touch one of these when we were in here earlier, so I guess maybe we should touch them now. Seems like nothing will happen unless they're used properly. H hey, Sarah, what if you activated a trap doing that? I suppose that was a close one. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's probably a bad idea. Oh, what? Coffin control system. Blue human, red doll, yellow vacant. Oh, okay, so I guess this is, what was this, what was, what was her name, Anzu? Um, who we lost in that first obstructor fight? Text is displayed on the monitor. Coffin control system, blue human, red doll, yellow vacant. What is this? Interesting. Um, nothing else, right? Monitors display all the places we've been, like the cemetery and the library. I don't see Midori anywhere. Okay. Um, we haven't gone back here yet. And there doesn't seem to be anything that I can interact with. There wasn't anybody in here, right? I remember this. Um, what about this stuff? 
I guess not. Um, all right, maybe now that we've talked to everybody, we can go down. Elevator only seems to go down. Oh wait, we can change the floor on the map, right? Okay, um, it was the discussion room that we have to go to. Ah, welcome. So you came back. Oh, you are probably named Maple, right? Because you have syrup on your head? Sarah, only pears can enter this room, right? Yeah, so Midori wouldn't be here, right? Still, he could take advantage of that assumption. I guess that's true. Seems like a floor master can do whatever. Floor master? You mean Hiyori? Uh, right, yeah. Could you tell us about him? Hiyori? Hiyori, Hiyori. She's acting kind of funny, huh? For now, let's search this room. I would like the book. Wouldn't this be a book from the library? Yeah, let's take it. Is she gonna get mad? No. Red flowers. Isn't watering flowers a pain? Oh yeah, okay. We've done that. Can't look under the bed. I think we've looked at all this before. Okay. Yeah, let's leave, I guess. What a shame. Are you going already? Our bad. We're in a hurry. It's okay. You two look busy. It must be hard. Hey, have you become friends? Yeah, we've become friends. Yeah. It's fine. You don't have to force an answer. <laughs> I'm happy you're getting along. Come again. I wonder if we said no, that's when she, like, gets mad or something. Uh, where was the blue book? Have we found the blue book yet? I don't think so. Right? Is it in here? Are there any blue books in here? I don't think so. I guess let's look everywhere though, right? Uh, we have in here again. Oh, hey guys. Strange. The knife we used for the puzzle here isn't anywhere to be found. Huh? So does somebody have it? Kuromata is sticking his head into a hole. There's something in the bag of here, but I can't reach it. There's something there? It's a blue book. It says something about returning it on time. If you want your hands on it, bring that pro wrestler old timer. Kutaro? I wonder where he is. Okay, so we need Kutaro because he's the only person tall enough to reach it, I guess. Uh, not here. I guess we... Oh, wait, no, he could be in the coffin room, right? Yeah, there he is. Yo, Sarah! You found anything? Come to think of it, Kuromata was asking Kutaro. We need you, Kutaro. We need your might. I mean, not necessarily. We need your arms. Your longness of your arms, your tallness, but whatever. Don't know what you mean, but leave it to me. Let's get rolling, my. Let's get rolling. Alright. Okay. So slow! Hurry up and get it. You're really gonna talk to me like that? Kitaro reached into the hole and got the book. Obtained a blue book. Ugh, it's sopping wet. Should be able to make out bits and pieces at least. Let's we'll see. When Shin saw me today, he once again gave me a smile a pl and playfully said good morning. What's this creepy book? A diary? Shin. Look at the front cover. It says Shin Tsukimi, AI test data. AI test data? That's uh, probably an experiment log written by Midori. Don't tell me the reason he got close to me was for this. Damn it, man. You really gotta spit out everything you know soon. Why should I tell you? Huh? Hey, quit it! 
They're your beloved allies, ain't they? No, no keeping secrets, yeah? I don't have any allies. So? Miss Sarah and Midori. They're hardly any different to me. The main course can wait for the end. Right now it's Midori's turn. That's it. That's all it is, right? W we're... So for now, we'll hold hands and do our best, Miss Sarah. Come on now. If you don't hurry, you'll lose this game of tag, right? Oh, yeah, right. Now ain't the time to worry about what's in the book. Sarah, let's hurry and catch Midori. Y yeah That's right! First we'll first we'll win the game of tag. Let's resume our search, Master. Quit with that already. Alright, back to the library. And put the red book in. It's a different shade of blue, I don't know if that matters. Maybe it's just the lighting. But insert. Nope, it works. Trap activated. What's this? I heard a heck of a sound. What's this? Stairs? Midori might be up there. Sarah Senpai, go on ahead. We'll call everyone over the PA. All right, let's move, Sarah. Idiot, my head's going to fly off. You watch here that Midori doesn't escape until the broadcast ends. Roger that. We just gotta go, Sarah. Right, we won't let him get away again. Okay. We're going up by ourselves, then? That seems like a bad idea. Oh, I'm gonna save here. Uh, here. Midori! Aha! So you came. Well, are you done passing around that dirty roll of being it? Ah, That's not it at all. We were, we're all allies. Is that so? That's perfect in its own way. How beautiful. More importantly, just checking, but... A gun is against the rules of tag, right? Sure. As long as you're going to follow the rules. Kept us waiting, Midori. Always skittering around. I won't forgive you even if you apologize, meow. Now this is troubling. You're being disturbingly cocky. No, I really am troubled. Because look. I don't even have a collar to play tag with. Uh... What do we do, Meow? Even if we tag him, there's no point, woof. For real? <laughs> I did say you should have given me back that collar, didn't I? What will you do? If you give it back, I'll put it on. But of course, only once you leave here, slowly. Or else, you do... Wait. Do you want us to kill each other violently after all? Take your pick, Miss Sarah. Uh, enough of this charade, Midori. What do you mean, so? Midori isn't being serious about this stupid death game. He never once said that if, you're, if you lose at tag, you die. I'm sure he's just waiting for something to happen. In short, what you've been doing is try to destroy us from the inside. Our allies? You don't mean he's going to make the dummies do something? Right. They were just puppets. They're in cahoots with Midori Meow? But, but... But Suit and Specs and the others went through it all the same stuff with went through all the same stuff as us. Then why do you suppose not everyone has assembled here? He's right. 
Kyutaro and Mai aren't here. Don't tell me that their aim is to... Let's look for Muscle Gorilla Meow. Interesting. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it pains me to say, but now's not the time to worry about Midori. Okay. They're not here. Wait, we can't go anywhere, right, though, right? Where can we go? We can't... Switches and knobs. It's like a PA broadcast room. Okay, that's still the same. What's this? What? What's what? That? The thing we looked at? Okay. Um, we can't go anywhere, though. Oh, oh, okay. Where's Kyutaro? Big sis, Sarah? Where the graves are? I looked up at the monitor showing the cemetery. No way. What the fuck? Ugh. Kyutaro! <laughs> Sorry, Master. You! I was always thinking of when to do it. Why would you? <laughs> I'll tell you. The true objective of us dummies... To kill our partner before Midori dies. That's the only way we can survive. Uh, uh. Have the dummies been waiting for an opportunity from the start? <laughs> Such a terrible rule, isn't it? Big Sis Sarah, we have to go! Yeah, to Kyutaro! I wonder if you'll make it? Uh, what? The rest of them aren't gonna do anything? We ran as fast as we could. Nearly tripping over ourselves, we headed for the cemetery where Kyutaro was. A large knife stabbed into his back. Blood pouring out was burned into my mind. It's okay. If anyone can survive that, it's Kyutaro. Come on, Kyutaro. <sighs> Kyutaro! Muscle Gorilla, where are you, meow? Whoa. Uh, uh. It's okay. I'm all right. Kyutaro. Never been more glad about working on my body than today, I tell ya. How could she screw that up? What a moron. To get killed before you could even... I ain't killed her. Huh? Just knocked her away a little. She's probably just shut down. What the? You didn't kill her? Are you stupid? Why would you go easy on her? She seriously meant to take your life. That ain't what she really thinks. What? That goes for all you guys, right? Midori's got your lives in his hands. So you're just being forced to do this, right? We're the same, you and us. Kyutaro? Just stop this. I'm sick of us pinning death on each other. Work with us, dummies. What are you saying? We won't do nothing to you guys, Hinako. So let's get through this. You guys too. Don't be stupid. Didn't you hear the rules? One or the other has to die. We... Is doing as you're told gonna lead to victory? We're gonna win. No more draws or defeats. If 
somebody turns traitor, how are we gonna see victory? We all gotta believe, or no miracle's gonna happen. We... We're gonna become true allies now. Kutaro is crying. Not from the pain of his wound. His heartfelt cry is shaking the room. Let me... treat that, Kutaro. Renmaru, idiot! How can you fall for that? Oh, shut up. Shoot. We have nothing to use for treatment. But I wonder if we can do something. You're all such idiots. I mean, why not? These guys are interested. Seriously now, you picturing defying us and winning, little Miss Middle Schooler? Shut up. Hey, I can't touch him right now. You help out here, Kuramata. What? Me? All right. The bleeding stopped. It ain't as bad as it looks. It doesn't really seem that way to me. Keiji. Sit down. At least get some rest. I can't move either. Can't leave an ally behind, right? <laughs> you got that right. If we find anything for medical treatment, we'll bring it right away. Don't sweat that. Focus on doing what you gotta do. Yeah. I feel it. A sense of unity. Trust in the truest sense. Kutaro has connected himself. He's bonded with us. Now, it's about time to end this game of tag. Gotta catch Midori and figure something out. Right. And I think, for a change, we're gonna leave it on a rather uplifting note. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I This was an excellent episode. Kutaro continues to impress me. Like, there have been a few times where I thought Kutaro's time was up and I was very sad about that, but, like, I'm very glad that he's still around and that he was able to to overcome the immediate, you know, reaction of self-preservation and killing Mai, right? So, anyway, like I said, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.